Good morning, guys. So I just wanted to give you all a quick injury update. It has been almost four weeks since my injury, my non-displaced hairline fracture of my second vertebrae. So overall, there's not there's not really any pain in my neck. Um, I've been doing Stairmaster. I've been doing some body weight stuff. I was actually able to do some machines this last week, some light machine work. Basically, more cardio, just something to get the muscles moving. Uh, I just wanted to update you guys because I'm hitting that point where I'm like heartbroken and I know it could be so much worse. Um, part of the reason I'm, I'm crying is because I'm like thinking back in retrospect this could have been so bad. Um, fractures and injuries in, in your spine, in your cervical spine, in your neck, you guys, they're, they're serious. They're very serious. And I'm just so thankful that I'm okay. But at the same time, I'm really, really frustrated and heartbroken because I know, I know that I can't do the same things that I could before in the rock gym. I don't want this to happen again. I don't know if bouldering is going to be something that I'll be able to do because of what it did. I don't want to re-injure it and possibly re-injure it and make it worse. I'm no expert in, in bones and fractures, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If, if something is fractured, especially your spine, I feel like it would be weaker afterwards even if it repairs itself so you know taking any falls any bad falls with bouldering could possibly refracture my spine and or possibly fracture it worse and you guys I'm, I'm just so thankful that I'm not paralyzed and I'm so thankful I don't know I just want to get some thoughts out there for you guys I'm sorry for getting emotional so fast but I was just in the in the gym and I was on the Stairmaster for three minutes and I'm just like not feeling the greatest about it today so I, I had to leave because I feel like had I stayed in the gym I probably would have pushed a little too far a little too hard on my body and possibly prolonged the injury from recovering. So, I'm just very, very discouraged. Whenever you're so passionate about something, when you love something so much, then you can't do it. The good news, oh man, I'm a mess. The good news is that I will be back. I'll be back in the rock gym. I could rope climb. Uh, so that's that. Um, so I'll be back in the rock gym sometime. I'm going to get back to my powerlifting program. You guys, I'm not going to let this. I'm not going to let this get me down. At least not for long. I think up to this point I've been pretty dang positive and optimistic. <sighs> it all just hit today. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys um, because this is this is part of the journey. You know, I I always show you guys super positive things, and I always try to be as positive as possible. But I'm not always the most positive person, and I have moments like this where I sit in my car. <laughs> And I cry. So, if any of you guys watching this are struggling with an injury or struggling with something, I just want to encourage you guys to see the positive in this. And I think one of the positives that I'm taking away from this is that lifting is not everything for me. Since it is my business and it is my career, 
uh, health and fitness, uh, I tend to place a lot of my identity in it. And I allow myself to get one-dimensional in a way. Because I equate my success to what happens in the gym. And I used to equate my success to how I looked. Um, and I've, I've moved away from that. So I know that this is just a reminder for me to embrace all of the aspects of health and fitness and, and what I do with my career. And to embrace all of the other aspects of who I am outside of health and fitness. Because I'm so much more than that. And hopefully this can encourage you guys to focus on that for yourself as well. Whether it's health and fitness that you put more of your identity in or your job or, or anything else. I just want to encourage you guys to focus on life as a whole and who you are as a whole wonderful human being and not just one little thing. I'm gonna go spend the day with my mom. I'm probably gonna cry a little bit more <laughs> but I just wanted to check in with you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for letting me get emotional <laughs> and I love you guys.